<laughs> Good morning. <sighs> hey, I've been up a couple hours already, and I didn't get to bed till midnight almost. And I was wide awake when I woke up, too. I didn't lay there trying to go back to sleep. I hit, my feet hit the floor almost immediately. And what's going on now is, well, let me just say, Oh my God, is the title, what they cooked up in this case. <laughs> well, I finally received paperwork yesterday in regard to the alleged summons for driving without a license. It's an obvious setup linked to the attempted theft of my home back on February 15, 2012, which was the date of the unsigned summons. The affidavit supporting their case does not even make sense in some respects and contains no information that I did not make available through affidavits and my video. It's interesting to me I don't know where to be, even begin I've got several paperwork here um, where do I begin Ron <laughs> they made a motion first of all the summons let me just hold that up here's here's the summons okay and it's dated Wednesday, February 15th, 2012, 11.15 a.m. I didn't sign it. Okay. Uh, I never saw this summons till yesterday. Okay, that's the first time that it has come to my attention. First time. They did an affidavit on February the 17th, two days later. Uh, the offense was on 1215, but they actually filled out the paperwork two days following the so-called summons. And um, Sergeant I can't quite make out the signature, but it is written, it is typed somewhere on the other paperwork because I have seen the name. But he wrote, on February 15th, while working at the Titusville Courthouse, Brevard County, Florida, I was made aware. <laughs> I was made aware of an individual named Ronald T. Van Dyke. Around 12.15 a.m., I watched Mr. Van Dyke from the Brevard Room, walk from the Brevard Room, to the parking lot south of 400 South Street. I lost sight of him for a few minutes. I saw a four-door silver Hyundai with bumper stickers on the trunk and bumper, on the trunk and bumper, driving north on Palm Ave toward South Street. I recognized Mr. Van Dyke as the driver when he turned west onto South Street. Um, according to David, which is cap all capital letters with periods after them, his driver's license has expired. It has been expired since 10 21, uh, 10 21 2010. Uh, Mr. Van Dyke has a 2001 Hyundai registered. Uh, with a Florida tag registered in his name. Uh, I could not see the tag from my location. But he could see bumper stickers. <laughs> uh, it's interesting because I don't know what his location was, but I, I was just up at the courthouse yesterday, that same courthouse yesterday, where that sale took place. And this time I was there as a witness for another friend of mine, actually a, uh, the husband of a lady that I know. She, he, was, uh, he was before the court and his motions was, was turned down and I don't even know, need to go into detail on that because it has nothing to do with me except that I was there to support someone else who needed uh, 
support in a courtroom. But in any case, the police officers or sergeant's deputies from where they would have been standing and were standing, and there were several de deputies around uh, the Brevard room, which is the steps of the courthouse. It's not really the steps of the courthouse. It's called the Brevard room. And that's where the uh, sheriff's sales are held for uh, dis you know, dis uh, charging property. And it is impossible from where the sheriffs would have been standing, which were, was, they were inside the building and standing out on the porch, it would be impossible for them to see South Street from where they are, unless they were to walk a hundred yards or so to the street, and then at most, at the most, they would only see a car making a left turn, uh, uh, which was what I would have made onto South Street, a left turn from the street coming out of the parking lot and going up. They would only see just for a, 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 a minute second of making that turn. They would not even be able to see the back of the vehicle from the street unless they were to have ran all the way through the building or around the, 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 the large service complex and go out there. I mean, it is... Physically, it's, a, it's very, not very credible at all. It stretches the imagination that this, that this affidavit could have any validity whatsoever, which leads me to believe these things were created after the fact, based on information that I had provided in my videos and in the affidavit that I filed on February 17th, in which I gave my more or less my time frame of when I would have left the court. It doesn't make sense, folks. It doesn't make sense. And one of the things that they said was that, where is it? They have a motion. Let me pull this out here. They have a motion for capius. Now, if someone had come to me on the date that I was arrested and presented me with an order for capius, I would have said, I need a warrant. I have no, no clue till I looked it up today. I've heard them use throw the word around, but I didn't look it up till this morning, actually. An order for capius, because I, I, said, I said to myself as I'm laying there uh, this morning, or not laying there, as I'm meditating this morning, I'm thinking to myself, I didn't get it. There was no warrant in that paperwork. There was no warrant there. Well, they consider this order for Capius to be a warrant. But I don't consider it a warrant. It doesn't say warrant anywhere on it. Um, but the motion to produce that document says that uh, the, the state attorney moves the court to issue a capius in the above styled cause and as grounds for said motion says that the sheriff of Brevard County has returned the summons previously issued showing that the defendant could not be found in Brevard County that the best information on the usual abode and whereouts of the defendant which was available to the state attorney was furnished to the sheriff, and that it appears the defendant will not respond uh, to a summons in that defendant has no permanent known connection with the community in which the alleged offense occurred. No known connection with the community. I've been doing the community calendar since 1998 online. I have been a public figure online since 1998. I do daily videos. I have been involved in so many of the organizations as a volunteer and as a member of the New Way for, for over, over five years and as on the board for a couple of years. They had no permanent known connection to the community. They couldn't find me. 
and so they issued an order signed by J uh, Judge Michelle Baker of the uh, Brevard County Court. I have a feeling that the, all of these documents are phony. <laughs> and it has total bearing on the matter with my house. I see the fingerprints all over. Can I prove it? No, but this I can prove. They said I didn't respond to the summons. I never received the summons till yesterday. I never received it. I received a notice of summons that there was a summons in existence. It did not specify what the summons was about. It just said, come to the sheriff's department and pick up your summons. Well, I responded by filing papers with the court and with the sheriff's department asking for more information because I had not seen the summons and I could not properly respond to the summons until I knew what the summons was about. I had never been served the summons and until yesterday never, I still think I was never served a warrant, although they consider a capius a warrant, an arrest warrant. In any case, I'm putting this out as a documented public record and I've gone back and listen to some of my old videos from February to see what information that I provided them and yes there's there's information that I've been providing I don't usually go back and listen to old videos I mean very 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 rarely uh, it's, it's been a good while months probably since I since I listened I used to listen to every video twice once before I sent it up online and then once after it got online and that was usually the end of it for several months now, I just don't even bother pre-listening. I just send them up. I just put them up on, on I upload them to the server, and I watch it. There's been times, quite honestly, that I don't even watch it till the afternoon or maybe one or two cases in the evening of the day that I make the video. I don't even watch it in the morning if, if I have a lot on my plate to get done. So. I've gone back and I'm trying to find actually I haven't found the video where I talk about driving without a license uh, I know I've talked about that it's not something that I've kept hidden and of course now I do have a driver's license but I I want you to see what I'm seeing that if they try to bring this to into a an actual trial, especially before a jury, they don't have evidence that that'll hold up. I have evidence that will hold up. They don't. I mean, they say I didn't respond. I have proof of response. Not only did I follow up with the, the papers filed with the court, I followed up with a letter after the fact to the sheriff saying, you know, I noticed that you uh, haven't d responded to my response, does that mean the matter is dismissed? And the next thing I know, they show up at my door under <laughs> pretense of talking to me about the Mary Horgan Center for Spiritual Development, which was a total sham. And in the, some of the paperwork that I got yesterday in the court, I mean, he keeps emphasizing the, the uh, uh, corporal... Um, Victor Velez keeps emphasizing that I said that I said that my house is sacred ground, which I may or may not have said it. I, that is not something that's stuck in my mind, but it must have been something that's stuck in his. I, I'm not going to deny that I said it, but I don't. It's not something I recall. He didn't mention at all that I kept asking him for a warrant. I mean, I must have asked him at least three times, at least three times for a warrant which he did not provide. He says, I have one in the car, go get it. No, I can't do that. That's in my testimony. That was in my testimony for the very next day on my video. I know I said that because that sticks very clearly in my mind. That's, that's the most important piece of the whole episode 
was that he didn't have a warrant and I was demanding a warrant. You can't come in without a warrant. <laughs> anyway, that's today's video. <laughs> I'm not going to go anymore. I, I find this whole thing humorous and I'm going to watch as spirit brings the process through. It's a process and I'm learning to trust the process. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Namaste. <laughs>